Okay, go on. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to RISE Education Systems first annual spelling bee. RISE Online versus RISE Academy. Um, we are very excited for our final um, contestants that are participating today. Um, we will be doing two levels. So we have level two Bs, which is our fifth and sixth graders, and um, level three B, uh, which is seventh and eighth graders. We will be starting um, with our level two Bs for fifth and sixth graders. Um, the names of the final, uh, the finalists um, are for Rise Online, we have Zamin Khan, sixth grade, Medina Mushrif, sixth grade, Sumaya Momin, sixth grade, Rise Academy, we have Sakina Rizvi, sixth grade, Zainab Nabi, fifth grade, and Muhammad Ali Khan, fifth grade. We will be starting with a Quran recitation by our RISE Academy student um, from fifth grade, Muhammad Ali Khan. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wadduha wal-layda sajama Wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma ghala Wala al-akhiratu khayrul laka minal Thank you so much for the beautiful recitation, um, Muhammad Ali. I will now give the podium to the judges of um, the Spelling Bee, Sister uh, Liliana and Sister Tina. Please welcome to, um, and start uh, with our Spelling Bee, inshallah. Inshallah. Assalamu uh, alaikum, everyone. I am Miss Tina or Miss Harold Lombopoulos. I am from Rise Online, and I'm just going to go over the expectations and procedures today. Um, so, you know, it's a good good thing for us to know so that we are prepared for our day um, to be respectful. So we will call on you by your speller um, number and so that you know your order. Go ahead and take a look at your name and you'll know what order that you go in, inshallah. We want you to be integritous. So meaning that we want you to act with integrity, um, ensuring that you are utilizing only your knowledge for spelling the spelling words. We want you to be safe, keeping your cameras on and your mics muted and being prepared by being engaged. Watch for your turn and spell the word that is given to you and be ready. So you guys were here, alhamdulillah, early. So excellent job. And inshallah, you practiced before the event to be prepared for today. Our spelling format 
is conducted in rounds, meaning that we will start the round with the spellers who are in the competition and that we will go through each student. Each student will have an opportunity to spell um, their word that is assigned to them and you will be notified whether or not your word is correct or incorrect. At the end of each round, um, the spellers who remain will go to the next round. During your round, um, when you are given a word, you are able to ask if you would like the origin of the word, um, the part of speech or the definition of the word. So you can ask that prior to starting the spelling of your word. Once you start spelling the word, you cannot stop, go back or re-spell the word. Please go ahead and spell it from start to finish on the first try. And we will continue until only one speller remains, inshallah. Just to let you know some of the rules for today, um, we inshallah all test our audio and video before we started today. Um, so we wanna keep our honor code and our expectations that we talked about, making sure that you are spelling your word that is assigned to you and not the help of your um, any other resources, right? Um, please keep your um, upper half of your body visible at all time and stare at the screen when you are spelling inshallah. Um, the judges do reserve the right to disqualify spellers if you do not follow the rules. However, if you are disconnected during your word, during the spelling bee, you are able to go ahead and log back in and inshallah will give you a new word to spell um, for that round. Are there any questions? Yes. Speller number six. I think that's Muhammad Ali Khan. Oh, you're not a muted friend. Can you hear me? Yes, I can okay. hear you now. Um, so my question is that from, uh, is there gonna be first place, second place or third place or only just first place till the last? Miss Liliana, do you wanna answer that question? Yes, so we'll have first, second and third and then our fourth, fifth and sixth uh, are like our runner ups. So everyone will receive something, but first, second, and third. Thank you. That's a great question. All right, inshallah. Um, if there are not any other questions, we will go ahead and get started. So um, first of all, uh, congratulations to everyone. So that is why we are, it's important that we recognize everyone that is here um, because we all made it to the final rounds here the um, of the spelling bee. So you guys did um, very good work and you guys should be very proud of where you're at right now. So inshallah, um, we'll get started. We'll go round by round. Um, so you'll see the round number up on the screen so that we know what round that we are in. And please make sure that you know your speller numbers so that you know who goes next, inshallah. All right, bismillah. All right, bismillah. Our first word for speller one is fumble. Fumble, F-U-M-B-L-E, fumble. That is correct. Speller two, your word is crowd. Um, can I have the definition? Yes, the definition of crowd is a large number of people, especially when condensed into a compact group without order. Crowd, C-R-O-W-D, crowd. That is correct. Speller number three, your word is onshore. Can I get the definition? Yes, the definition is within the country. Unsure. O N S U R E. Speller number three, that is not correct. 
Speller number four, your word is deny. Denied? Um, can you please repeat the word, please? Deny. Um, um, denied? D E N I E D, denied? Okay. That is incorrect. Speller number four. Speller number five, your word is cheer. Cheer, C-H-E-E-R, cheer. That is correct. Speller number six, your word is special. Speller number six, are you unmuted? No, we cannot hear you, Mama Dali. <clears throat> Uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, can you take out and put in your headphones? They may not be connected correctly. Okay, there we hear sound now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh. Uh, how about you take off your, your headphones and just speak? Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you repeat the word? Special. Special. S P E C I A L. Special. That is correct. All right. That completes the end of round one. We will intro go on to round two. All right, round, um, speller number one, your word is results. Can you please give the meaning? Yes, the definition is a comprehensive publication of the outcome of competitive events. Okay, R-E-S-U-L-T. S results. That is correct. Speller number two, your word is chain. Can I have the definition? Yes, the definition is a series of interconnected, typically metal links or rings used for various purposes, such as a support or restraint. Chain, C-H-A-I-N, chain. That is correct. Speller number three. Um, oh, speller number three, I'm sorry. It's uh, speller number four. Speller number five. Five, sorry. yes. Speller five. Your word is candles. Candles, C-A-N-D-L-E-S, candles. That is correct. Speller number six, your word is admit. Can you repeat the word? Admit. Can I get the definition? Yes, the definition is to accept as the truth. Um, admit. A D M I T admit. That is correct. All 
All right. We are going on to round three with spellers one, two, five, and six. All right. Speller number one, your word is pieces. Okay, well, can I get the definition? Yes, the definition is part of a whole thing. Okay, P-I-E-C-E. S pieces. That is correct. Speller number two. Your word is smiled. Um, can I have the definition? Yes, the definition is looked at with amusement, contempt, or ridicule. Um, can you repeat the word? Smiled. Smiled. S M I L E D smiled. That is correct. Speller number five. Your word is hotel. Hotel. H-O-T-E-L. Hotel. That is correct. Speller number six. Your word is chicken. Can you repeat the word? Chicken. Chicken, at C H I C K E N. Chicken. That is correct. That's the end of round three. All right, we are going into round four with spellers one, two, five, and six. Speller number one, your word is health. Can you repeat the word, please? Health. Okay. H O U S E. House. That is incorrect. The word was health. Right. Speller number two. Your word is rover. Can I have the definition? Yes, the definition is someone who wanders. Can you repeat the word? Rover. Um, rover. R O V E R Rover. That is it. That is correct. Speller number five. Your word is crew. Crew. C R E W. Crew. That is correct. Speller number six. Your word is holler. Can you repeat the word? Holler. Can you give me the definition? The definition is to cry out or shout to attract someone. Did you say hover? Can you repeat the word? Holler. Hover or holler? Um, I remember you may ask for the word in a sentence, its origin. Oh yeah, can I get the, or, uh, the parts of speech? It is a verb. It is a verb. Can I get it in a sentence? Um, yes. Lassie knew Timmy was in trouble when she heard him holler for help. 
holler. I think it's H A W L E R holler. That is incorrect. Okay, that concludes round four. We are going into round number five. Um, congratulations, speller number six. Um, you are in third place. So round number five has speller number four and speller number, I'm sorry, speller number two and speller number five um, competing for first and second place, inshallah. Um, Miss um, V, do we want to go over um, with the two spellers um, how we determine first place if both students, you have to both get, um, you know, the, the final, yeah. go ahead. Yes. So we're, we'll, we'll give you a word if you get that word incorrectly, uh, the, the next person will get a chance to uh, spell the word and if they get it correct, uh, they will be first place. If they get it incorrect, you guys will get a new word. All right, so speller number two, your word is ribbon. Can I have the definition? Oh yes, sorry, <laughs> I forgot my job here. Okay, the definition is a flat, narrow fabric made of silk, rayon, nylon, or cotton that is closely woven in various constructions and used for trimmings, decorations, or knitting. Um, can you repeat the word? Ribbon. Ribbon. R-I-B-B-O-N, ribbon. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is weighted. Weighted. W-A-I-T-E-D, weighted. That is correct. Speller number two, your word is vividly. What's the definition? The definition is intensely, sharply, keenly. Vividly. V-I-V-I-D-L-Y, vividly. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is social. Social. S-O-C-I-A-L, social. That is correct. We'll move on to the next round. Oh, yes. Sorry. We're actually on round uh, seven. Oh, <laughs> all right. Speller number two. Your word is sample. Can I have the definition? The definition is portions to represent a whole. Samples, S-A-M-P-L-E-S, -E samples. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is adrift. Adrift, A-D-R-I-F-T, adrift. That is correct. Speller number two for round eight, your word is Foolishness. What's the definition? The definition is a l state of lacking seriousness. Folly. Can I have, um, what's the word? Foolishness. Foolishness. F-O-O-L. S-H-N-E-S-S, -S, foolishness. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is sibling. Siblings, S-I-B-L-I-N-G-S, siblings. That is correct. All right, speller number two, your first word, your word for round nine is argue. 
R U A R G U E. Argue. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is manger. Manger. M A N G E R. Manger. That is correct. <laughs> wow, we made it to round 10, ladies. All right. For speller number two, your word is proud. Can I have the definition? The definition is elated, highly pleased. Proud. P R O U D, proud. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is gallop. Gallop. G A L L O P. Gallop. That is correct. Speller number two, your word is plumbing. What's the definition? The definition is articles such as pipes and fixtures in a building that are concerned with the introduction, distribution, and disposal of water. Plumbing, P-L-U-M-B-I-N-G, plumbing. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is earthquake. Earthquake. E A R T H Q U A K E earthquake. That is correct. All right, round 12. Speller number two, your word is delivery. Um, delivery. D E L I V E R Y delivery. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is usual. Usual, U-S-U-A-L, usual. That is correct. Round 13, speller number two, your word is antennas. Um, can I have the definition? Yes, the definition is metallic devices such as rods or wires that are used for receiving or radiating radio waves. Antennas. Um, can you repeat the word? Antennas. Antennas. A-N-T-E-N-N-A-S. -N -N antennas. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is chalk. Chalk, C-H-A-L-K, chalk. That is correct. Speller number two in round 14, your word is brought. Can you repeat the word? Brought. What's the definition? Conveyed or carried along from one place to another. Okay. Brought. B R O U G H T. Brought. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is minivan. Minivan. M I N I V A N. Minivan. That is correct. All right, speller number two for round 15, your word is pavement. Can I have the definition? The definition is the surface of a public thoroughfare, which is artificially covered. Pavement, P-A-V-E-M-E-N-T, pavement. That is correct. Speller number five, your word is channel. Channel, C-H-A-N-N-E-L, channel.
All right, for our next round, speller number two, your word is charred. Can I have the definition? The definition is partially burned on the outside. Can you repeat the word? Charred. Charred. Um, C H A R D charred. Uh, that is incorrect. Speller number five. Can you spell the word charred? Charred. C H A R E D charred. That is incorrect. So we'll move on to the next word. Speller number two. Your word is pressure. Can you give me the definition? The burden of mental or physical distress. Um, can you repeat the word? Pressure. Pressure. P-R-E-S-S-U-R-E, -S -S -E, pressure. That is correct. All right, speller number five. Your word is dainty. Dainty. D I D A D A I N T Y dainty. Uh, that is incorrect. So we're actually going to give you a different word since you uh, use you started off one way and then edited an, uh, you started off with I and then. That, uh, started again with A. So we'll actually have uh, speller number two do dainty as well then, just because it is incorrect. Speller number two, dainty. Can I have the definition? Characterized by beauty that is delicate in nature. Dainty, D-A-I-N-T-Y, dainty. Uh, that is correct. So that concludes our round for the B, the B level two. Very good job, everyone. I know that <clears throat> some students had a little, like a week to practice those words. So alhamdulillah, you guys did a great job. I'm very proud of you. So um, we will go ahead and end with our closing dua. Um, does somebody want to recite our closing dua for today's? spelling match for the first round of yes. yes spellers no pressure guys <laughs> okay go ahead um we can go ahead in english who would prefer english instead anybody inshallah zaman would you do me a favor for Ms. H. Okay, I can do that. Right. Thank you, Alhamdulillah. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Oh Allah, we ask you to be for your close guardian, al hujjah the son of Hassan. Blessings of Allah be upon him and his father, now and always. Be for him a guardian, protector, leader, helper, guide, and protector until you establish him as a leader on your earth, followed by all and for a long lifetime to prosper. All right, spellers. All right, so Thank can we have all our, can we show all our spellers and tell us who got first, second? Yes. <clears throat> so inshallah, um, give me one second to pull up the finals. So um, question for you, Ms. V, if a student, two students went out in the same round, um, so third and fourth place went out in the same round, do they both get third place then since they went out in the same round or is it in the order of which the students went out in? It was in the order the students went out in. Okay, excellent. All right, then I can do the finals here. All right, alhamdulillah. So our, um, I will start. Um, so in sixth place was Medina. Very good job, sixth grade. In fifth place was Zainab in fifth grade. In fourth place was Zaman in sixth grade. 
And third place was Mohammed Khan in sixth grade and thir- fifth grade. Sorry, <laughs> I have so many numbers here, guys. And runner up second place was Samaya, sixth grade. And first place was Sakina in sixth grade. Mashallah, everyone, you guys did a really wonderful job. So it was very nice to see that. And the end was like a nice face off, guys. Yeah. He kept us going. I had to put numbers in. I was practicing writing on the board with my mouse, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So thank you so much. Good job, guys. All right, you guys. So our spellers, you guys may leave on your own and then we'll bring in our next spellers. Thank you. Have a wonderful break, everyone. Okay, great job. That was amazing, Miss Tina and Mrs. We- uh, Sister Liliana. That was really great. I have a room full of girls right now because we had our on-site day and they're dying to get on Zoom, but I told them, no, sorry, you can only work. <laughs> so they're still writing. That was really great, really amazing job by all the students. Um, so once you guys admit uh, the new contestants, uh, the finalists, I will, um, inshallah, announce their name. Okay. Honey, if you need to go to a room where you're by yourself, that'll be best. You can't. You won't be able to have a uh, mask on. No, no. There's no one else in this room. Okay. You guys um, are all being renamed with a speller number, so you guys will go in that order and show up during the spelling bee. Okay. Salam alaikum, level three B finalist. This is our seventh and eighth grade for Rise Online and Rise Academy. Our finalists are from Rise Online, Fatima Kalfan, seventh grade, Ali Nakwi, seventh grade, Aya Alufi, eighth grade. Then Rise Academy, we have Zoya Raza, seventh grade, Hania Yusuf Ali, seventh grade, and Mehdi Mualam, eighth grade. Good luck, guys. And you have it, Sister Liliana and Sister Tina. Inshallah, just finishing up naming everyone. So please double check those numbers. All right, Inshallah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Ms. V, you want to start us off? Yes. So for speller number, are you going to show our rounds? Our, uh... um, yes, I figured we would go through the same, um, the same slides. I didn't know if we're going to skip them. Um, so Inshallah, I just want to go over it. We went over the expectations and procedures with these guys so we can go straight to the, the rounds. Yes. Okay, alhamdulillah. All right. So um, just to let everybody know, you'll see what round we're on um, with the the screen share here. Um, So we'll say round number one. And then um, at the conclusion of each round, we'll switch to the next round and those spellers that got the words correct, we'll move on to the next section, inshallah. All right, so speller number one. Your word is trombone. Trombone. T-R-O-M-B-O-N-E. Trombone. That is correct. Speller number two. Your word is detour. Detours. Detours. D E T O U R. S. That is incorrect. Oh. Speller number three. Your word is audience. Audience. A. A U D I. E N C E. That is correct. Speller number four. Your word is staggered. Staggered. S T A G G 
E R E D, staggered. That is correct. Speller number five. Your word is thundering. May you repeat that, please? Thundering. Can I have the definition? The definition is breaking or forcing apart. Thundering, is that the correct word? You Ms. can Peterson. ask us to repeat that word. Yeah. Yes, please, may you repeat it? Thundering. Thundering? Um, thundering. S S O N D E R I N G. Thundering. That is incorrect. Speller number six. Your word is luggage. Can you give the definition? Yes, the definition is suitcases, bags used for travel or other articles used to carry travelers' belongings. L U G G A G E S, luggage. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Oh, on to round two. Can you tell me the spellers? Yes, I am actually just updating my sheet. <laughs> Good moment. Okay, so we are going to round number two with spellers one, three, and four. And um, just to clarify, after you get the word from Miss V, you can ask for the part of speech, the definition, the word in a sentence, or its origin. All right, speller number one, I'm sorry, yes, speller number one, your word is memorial. Memorial, M-E-M-O-R-I-A-L, memorial. That is correct. Speller number three, your word is amplify. Uh, can I have the definition? Yes, the definition is to expand, extend, or enlarge a statement or idea by adding details or illustration. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, the sentence is, the speaker used an emotional video to amplify the theme of her keynote address. Can you repeat the word? Amplify. Amplify. A M P L I F Y. Amplify. That is correct. Speller number three. Your word is refrain. I'm sorry. I already did. I'm sorry, not speller number three. Speller number four. Your word is refrain. Can I have the definition, please? The definition is a phrase or a verse that re occurs regularly, typically, typically within a poem or song. Refrain, R-E-F-R-A-I-N, refrain. That is correct. All right, that concludes round two. We are going to round three with spellers one, three, and four. Speller number one, your word is mulish. Can I have the definition? The definition is stubborn, inflexible, or uncompromising. Can you repeat the word? Mulish. Mulish. M. U L I S H Mule. That is correct. Speller number three. Your word is obstacles. Obstacles. Uh, can I have the definition? Yes, the definition is things that hinder progress or stand in the way. Obstacles. 
O B S T I C A L S obstacles. That is incorrect. Speller number four, your word is deportment. Can I have the definition, please? The definition is behavior or conduct. Deportment, D-E-P-O-R-T-M-E-N-T, -E -E deportment. That is correct. All right, very good. We're going into the uh, round four with our four, um, with our two finalists. Um, so congratulations to speller number three, who um, was in third place. Um, so we have speller number one and speller number four for the top two spellers going into round four. All right, speller number one, your word is agricultural. Agricultural, A G R I C U L T U R A L, agriculture. That is correct. Speller number four, your word is disturbance. Disturbance, D I S. T U R B A N C E, disturbance. That is correct. Speller number one, your word is hazmat. Hazmat. Um, can I have the definition? The definition is a substance that is shipped and which would be dangerous to life or the environment if released without proper precaution. Hazmat, H-A-Z-M-A-T, hazmat. That is correct. Speller number four, your word is perfume. Can, I, can you repeat it, please? Perfume. Perfume. P-E-R-F-U-M-E. -E, perfume. That is correct. Around next round. Speller number yes. one. Your word is chimney. Chimney. C-H-I-M-N-E-Y. Chimney. That is correct. Speller number four, your word is domain. Domain, D-O-M-A-I-N, domain. That is correct. Round eight. Oops, nope, oh, round seven, round seven. my bad. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, speller number one, your word is carpenter. Carpenter, C A R. P-E-N-T-E-R, carpenter. That is correct. Speller number four, your word is parcel. Can I have the definition, please? The definition is a package. Parcel, P-A-R-C-E-L, parcel. That is correct. Now we go back to speller number one. Your word is sheetrock. Can I have the definition? The definition is used to describe a plasterboard formed in gypsum between two surfaces of hard paper. Can you please repeat the word? Sheetrock. Sheetrock, S H. E E T R O C K sheetrock. That is correct. Speller number four, 
Your word is equator. Equator. E Q U A T O R. Equator. That is correct. All right, speller number one. Your word is throttle. Can I have the definition? The definition is to choke, to stop breathing by any means. Can you repeat the word? Throttle. Throttle. T-H-R-O-T-T-L-E. Throttle. That is correct. Speller number four, your word is capable. Capable. C A P A B L E. Capable. All right, we're on round 10 now. <laughs> <laughs> Our ladies are going to have Sister Tina making up new numbers. Right? Yeah, they have to like, cross it out. Thanks, guys. Just yeah. my PowerPoint destroyed. No, it's okay. Alhamdulillah. We're going on to round 10. <laughs> yes. So, speller number one, your word is gingerbread. Gingerbread. G I N G E R B R E A D. Gingerbread. That is correct. Speller number four, your word is confection. Can you repeat? Can, can, you, can I have the definition, please? A delicacy. Confection. C O N F E C T I O N. Confection. That is correct. All right. My numbers are going to look awesome, Miss V, by the time I get done with these spellers. Mm -hmm. Both rounds make me, made me draw on the board here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, speller number one for round 11. Your word is sanitized can you repeat the word sanitized can i have the definition yes the definition is made hygienic through sterilization or cleaning sanitized s a n t i z e d sanitized uh, that is incorrect speller number 4 if you can please spell the word Sanitized. Sanitized. S A N I T I Z E D. Sanitized. That is correct. Now, that conclude our. Does that conclude it, or does she have to spell her word correctly too? Oh no, the. Oh, that's true. No, no, she yeah. spelled the word correctly. She's fine. Okay, alhamdulillah. Excellent. All right, so that concludes our spelling bee. So give me a, a second and I will give you guys the final results, inshallah. Okay, so for the seventh and eighth grade spelling bee results, um, we have, I'm just trying to clear up my annotation over here. Okay, um, so, um, Medi in eighth grade, Ea in fifth grade. Um, I'm sorry, yes, I'm sorry, hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay, Zoya <laughs> is in sixth place, she's in seventh grade. We have Ea in fifth place, she is in eighth grade. Medi in fourth place, he is in eighth grade. In third place, we have Ali in seventh grade. In second place, Fatima in seventh grade and in first place, Hanya in seventh grade. Congratulations, everyone. So Alhamdulillah, we have concluded our spelling bee and if we can just end with a nice um, closing dua. Um, I do have a nice slide up here if somebody would like to volunteer to read in Arabic. No, you're going to have to share your screen, your oh, slides. Oh, is that, oh, is that, okay, hold on. Is that sharing? Okay. Sorry, guys. There you go. Anyone would like to read this closing dua? You can do it in English or in Arabic. 
Ali, do you mind? Thank you, friend. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma kulli waliyik al-hujjat ibn al-Hasan. Salawatuka alayhi wa ala aqa'i fi adhi sa wa fi kulli sa. Uliyyum wa hafidhan wa qaidhan wa nasira wa dalila wa ayna ahal ta tuskanahu arzaka tawa'a. Wa tamata'ahu fiha tawila bi rahmataki ya arham wa rahimi. All right, thank you everyone for participating. Have a wonderful break. Ms. V, any final words? No, enjoy your break and a great job, you guys. It takes a lot to come up here and show everyone, but thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you, all the participants, for I think B level two and level three. You guys did an amazing job. Thank you, Mrs. V and Sister Tina for judging and presenting us such an amazing event. Okay. Fiamanala everyone. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.